What is going guys, Raps here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video, I'm going over all of the exotics that will be making a return into the year 2 for the April update. And I'll also be going over exotics that might actually come back that were either hinted or made classified in the database. So without further ado, let's get straight on to this video. Now first, we're going over the year 1 exotics that will be set up for year 2. Now way back 6 months ago, a Reddit user posted a Reddit post and he linked us this new uh, type of site and it had all the Destiny Manifest information in it. And of course, 6 months ago, the Nolan Beyond, the uh, Mirai Multitool were not a year 2. However, we already know that the Mirai Multitool, Nolan Beyond and Dragon's Breath are currently year 2 exotics. And here are all the other year one exotics that were also set up for year two. We have a universe for a molt. I do not remember if this is already year two or year one. If it is, and of course it, it will be going to year two. The Lord of Wolves, Dreg's Promise, Patience and Time. And then we also have the Plan C and we also have the Queen Breaker's Bow. Now this makes sense because in the April update, the Prison of Elders will be making a return. And of course the three Prison of Elders exotics, which is the Lord of Wolves, Drake's Promise and the Queen Breaker's Bow were all linked to Prison of Elders, so of course, why wouldn't Bungie bring back these exotics for year 2? That's quite interesting. Now, we're going over some of the exotics that were either classified in the database or Bungie have hinted at them. Now, first off, we're going over that volley launcher that many of you guys do remember. Now, of course, Luke Smith did debunk it. He did say that it was scrapped from the Taken King, but of course, we're not in Taken King anymore. We're talking about a new update. So maybe this gun will be making a return. Now, I do note that in the database, if you still have that link saved, if you go ahead to that link, it shows up as classified. All the perks are still there, the Dubian's Ordinance, where this weapon delivers a high energy volley of explosive ordinance, and of course the second perk, which is Dubious Munitions, where it kills from the volley add another round to the volley. Like I did say guys, it is currently classified in the database, so we'll just have to wait and see, but all the perks are still there, it wasn't completely scrapped, it is still in the database. Now with that being said, we're going over some other weapons that were in that manifest. Now Reddit user ReadyFlash311 broke down the list better, so and he also said that there are three additional entries for the Thunderlord copy. There's Chasm Rounds, Incinerary, and Negative Rounds. So let's go straight on to this manifest. Again, I'll leave the Reddit link down in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and get a better look. So first off, he said that there could be a year to highlight how you notice there's a perk for infusion before the next item number. He also said that there is possibly going to be a year 2 Queen Breaker's Bow, and then also there's a different number for the year 1 Queen Breaker's Bow. There's also going to be a year 2 Plan C, of course year 2 Dragon's Breath, which already came out. And then here is an interesting new exotic, Chasm Rounds. So it could be a Void LMC, he said he's not sure on the year, no Ascend or Infuse, so maybe this one was specifically scrapped. Next there is the Incinerary Rounds, which is the Solar LMC. Now this lists the word Infuse, so it is year 2, and no other perks stand out. And of course, is also the Void Year 2 version of the Thunderlord, and there's negative rounds, and again he said he had no idea what it is, but it's most likely going to be a LMC as well. And of course the Year 2 Thunderlord, which is already out, Year 2 Super Good Advice, already out, the Mirai Multitool in Year 2, Universal Remote in Year 2, then of course the more interesting one is the Lord of Wolves, the 4th Horseman, already out of course, then there's the Year 2 Drugs Promise, comparing to the Year 1 Drugs Promise, then the patience and time. Now with all this being said guys, I'm very excited to see what Bungie will be doing with all of these exotic possibilities, which new ones they'll bring out, any of the unheard of ones, and of course the ones from year 1 that they will be bringing back into year 2. But like I did say, it makes perfect sense for them to bring back those year 1 House of Wolves exotics, the Dreg's Promise, Queen Breaker's Bow, and the uh, Lord of Wolves. It makes perfect sense. And it also makes perfect sense for them to bring back the Thunder Lord or Fire Lord, whatever you want to call it, as well as that volley launcher. But again, we'll just have to wait and see what Bungie revealed to us either this Wednesday or next Wednesday. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more daily Destiny content. And also, let's try and get this video to 100 likes because that would be pretty awesome. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Raptor, and I'm out. Peace.